How's it going, YouTube? This is Trainer Connor. That's right, we're back at it with another Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi Pokemon Battle video. If you have not checked out my three-year anniversary special video, it's on YouTube. You can check it out if you want. But it's the YouTube video that does not have a thumbnail. I don't know what YouTube doing with the thumbnails, but they're not working right now. Hopefully that's not a problem for you guys. But anyway, so, long story short, I am still making Wi-Fi battles as the future goes on, but I will be uploading once a week, okay? Because school is going to be busy this year. I kind of probably stressed that out in my three-year anniversary special video, but if you have not seen that, there you go. Okay, so today's opponent, we're facing off against a friend of mine named Isaiah from Skype and Twitter. So awesome. I wanted to use some Pokemon that I haven't really used that much in a long time, or for a long time, rather. I thought that was a nice little thing for me. It's a little bit of a small challenge with the Pokemon that I'm using against higher tier Pokemon. Anyway, so we do not want to stay in on the Hitmontop because chances are he's going to go for a close combat, which would be super effective against Buffalon. Now, I knew he might have Bullet Punch on Hitmontop to take care of the fairy types like Aromakise here, Pascal. And Pascal actually takes the bullet punch really well. That's why I stay in on it and I go for Toxic. And that's great because now Hitmontop's longevity is cut down quite a bit. Expecting another bullet punch, I go back into Cobalion or I go into Cobalion. This is the first time I'm using Cobalion in this Wi Fi battle video. Now, this particular Cobalion is a defensive slash pivot for the team. It has Stealth Rock, Iron Head, Volt Switch, and Toxic. I like that set. It's a little bit unique, but I like it. The EV investment that I have on this Cobalion, it has max HP, max defense, and a little bit of attack. So that way, Iron Head can do some damage. And we see that working out against the Shady Tree, or Trevenant, as it's originally named. Trevenant, nicknamed Shady Tree. I actually am expecting him to go with a Will-O-Wisp right here. And so I go into Pascal, who has the move Aromatherapy, which will get rid of those burn, or the burn, rather. But I don't get a chance to use that. For some odd reason, I'm not really sure why I didn't really want to go for aromatherapy because I knew I had that move on this Pascal, but I thought, okay, I can go for a Moonblast and take him out. But no, I barely miss on the KO. He gets up a leech seed, which will help him restore some health there, and I get to lose my health in return. That's not really good. On top of that, he has rest. I'm probably, okay, just looking at this scenario, it's just not looking good. I'm being outplayed. Being outplayed by a ghost tree. That is something that you guys should not really do. At any point, I could have switched out, gone to either Electivire or my Noivern. But no, I just stay in with Aroma Kise. I get burned, I get Horn Leech in the face, like you see right here. And Leech Seed is up. I, I really should have just switched out. But no, I just made that little error. Yep, making errors is an awesome thing, right? Not. Okay, so I do go into Siren, the Noivern. I nicknamed it Siren because it makes siren type noises when it flaps its wings. That's what it says in the Pokedex century. Never mind that. Flamethrower. Failed the KO, which is like, God, we're so close to that KO. And, like, I, I just continue going for flamethrower because I'm scarfed Noiver, which means I will outspeed almost everything outside of, like, Megas. And speaking of Mega, we're going to deal with a Mega Minatric here. We see him Mega evolving here, who has a teammate, which is like, oh, that's a little bit unfortunate because Electivire has Motor Drive. We see that working out right here, but my 
physical moves like Ice Punch won't do very much. You see how much Ice Punch did. I think I went for Ice Punch because I was expecting a switch out because, of course, electric type moves are not going to be working. But he has Toxic. I'm like, really? You have Toxic? That is something I haven't really seen on Mega Man Electric before. Or on Man Electric. So, kind of a weird scenario there. But that's okay, we'll deal with it. Now, as Hitmontop comes in, I'm not really sure what he's going to do. He probably is going to fake out again. And this was a risky play because Cobalion is weak against Hitmontop because Hitmontop has Cold Combat or Earthquake. He actually has Earthquake. I'm not really sure why he has Earthquake. I mean, Cold, Cold Combat will do a lot more damage to Cobalion in my opinion, but, you know, that's just, that's just me. Look at that, the poison barely misses the KO. That means I have to go for Volt Switch. And we don't see him going for Earthquake yet, or if, if he did, I probably missed it, but that's neither here nor there. I take him out with a Volt Switch. This allows him to have switching priority, and his choice is to have Dragonite on the field. This is awesome because I actually predicted him to go into Dragonite and since I have Stealth Ops up, his multi-scale is broken and that means Dragon Pulse will take him out. Alright, that is a nice play there. Great job, Siren or Noivern. Okay, so we have Kong Kelder. Kong Kelder is a very interesting Pokemon in the sense that it has Stone Edge, it has fighting type moves, and like, I think it has bulk up, it has access to bulk up, drain, punch, mock punch. But this particular Kong Kelder is banded, okay? This is really weird because I have not seen a banded Kong Kelder before. And I wasn't really sure if he was banded at this point because I go into Gregory. This is, this is one of my favorite strategies in the whole Pokemon competitive battling scene. Having weakness policy Karakasta nicknamed Gregory with the weakness policy to raise your stats even further. I thought he had Bok Punch, but no, he does not have it. And that confirms that he's banded. Because if he had Bok Punch, he would have used it. But what I also have to mention here, I have to mention that I have priority as well in the form of Aqua Jet. And that is going to bypass Mach Punch. So, you know, I guess that didn't matter in the sense that I said Mach Punch is going to KO me. It's not. Because Karakasa is faster than Kong Kilder, okay? Speaking of which, uh, Gregory is going to probably sweep the remaining Pokemon here because Karakasa with a weakness policy plus Shell Smash, it's a recipe for disaster. And we definitely see that here because Karakasa is going to clean up the match here. So that was a great battle by me and Isaiah. If you guys enjoy this Wi-Fi battle video, I know that was kind of a quick upload. Look at that, I have a new icon. I hope you guys like the new icon. And I also have a new banner for my YouTube channel. Shouts to, I believe, Ominous Acid on Twitter. He is on my side page or on my YouTube channel where it says friends and trainers and friends. Ominous Acid is the creator of my new icon and new banner. So thank you to him for making an awesome looking icon. All right, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this upload. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. All right, have a great day, trainers. Bye now.